If you ever wonder how to create islands, lakes or rivers, this video will help you. This is a beginner friendly tutorial and you should be able to follow it even if this is your first tutorial about Unreal Engine. I recommend downloading the PDF guide from the link in the description to have it handy every time you start a new project. It contains key points from this video, settings, uh, screenshots and valuable shortcuts to make your workflow easier. If you are ready, let's dive into Unreal Engine 5 water system. For our project we will use third person template. Go games, third person, name it and create it. Before we start make sure that we have the same interface layout. So you can easily follow this video. Go window, load layout and choose the default editor layout. This is a great option because if you mess something with your interface, for example if you take your windows and arrange them in a weird way, just use the option to revert them back to the default. Let's move on. First things first, we need to enable some plugins to make this work. Go edit, plugins, over here type water and enable the water plugin. Also type land mass and enable the land mass plugin. Make sure to restart the engine to use the plugins. After restarting your engine you might get this error. This is important because our water needs this water body collision to work. So go right and click this add entry to the default engine. Don't worry it's ok, it will just enable the collision for you so you don't have to do it manually. Let's create a basic level. Go file, new level, choose basic. Over here choose the floor in the outliner and delete it. We don't need it. Now go Ctrl Shift plus S to save it. Otherwise if Unreal Engine crashes you won't have your level. Let's create our landscape first. Go landscape mode or hit Shift plus 2. Over here make sure that this enable edit layers is selected. And make sure to make this location to be 000. I found that this 000 location is very important because it will make our ocean easier to position later. Also make the landscape relatively big. If you go 15 by 15 it will be too small and it won't work correctly. When you are done hit create. If you are new to Unreal Engine hold the right mouse button and use the W, A, S and D keys to move around just like in an FPS shooter. Also scroll the mouse wheel to speed up or slow down movement and Q and E to go up and down. Go back to the selection tool with shift 1, click on the green add button, type in water, Choose a water body ocean, drag and drop it to the level. You can see that it's not centered. Select a water body ocean, make sure under transform options that everything is set to zero. Now we have our island and water properly aligned. If I click play from here and run into the water you can see that we have a problem. We walk on water instead of walking through it. If you remember, this is because of the error from the beginning of the video that says we have collision issues. This will prevent us from making objects float on the surface later. All we need to do is restart the engine. Make sure to save it before you close it. Open your map and if I hit play you can see that everything works fine. To edit the shape of your island make sure to select the water body ocean. Click on these small white rectangles. These are called spline points. Splines in Unreal Engine are important because they provide a flexible and efficient way to define and control the paths, movements and shapes of various objects and elements within the game world. Splines are used in various aspects of game development including creating dynamic camera paths, defining character or object moving trajectories and designing road networks and shaping landscape for more realistic and interactive game environments. Now just move them around to change the shape of your island. You can also use handles to adjust the curve and further customize the shape. To add another spline point hold the ALT key, click and move. To delete just select it and hit the delete button. Just one tip, you can see this ring on our island. Sometimes it really gets in the way so to remove it select water body ocean, type fall off.
under mode changed width and now our island is smooth. Ok, the next step is to change the properties of our waves. To do that select your water body ocean, scroll down in the details panel, over here expand the waves source and water waves asset, double click it and we have our wave properties here. If you expand this menu you can see that we have some options. Under default you can change the number of waves, seed or randomness. Under wavelengths you can choose min and max wavelength. My recommendation is to try overdo the maximum and minimum values to see how it behaves. Use this technique whenever you see that you can change values somewhere. For example go beyond amplitude and see the effect. Of course you can change the water direction to your liking. One of the things you may want to change is the color of the water to fit your level design. To do that select water body ocean, scroll down to the rendering section, over here double click the water material. We have some options to choose from but scroll down until you see the absorption property. Change color here. Also you can enable scattering. Scattering is like when light meets the water and the make it look different. It can change how the water looks, like its color, how bright it is and how clear you can see through it. Also this works for uh, foam, so use foam scattering to add subtle effects on top of your water or combine multiple colors together. Let's create rivers now. It's very easy because the procedure is very similar to creating an island and ocean. Go add and add water body river. You can see that you can move your river across the landscape. Also you can add spline points by holding alt key and the left mouse click. So add spline points, move them and create your perfect river. Now we want to change the depth, width and speed of the river. To do that make sure that the water body river is selected in the outliner. Go here and select this middle button. This will select all splines of the river so we can edit them at the same time. If you want you can always edit them separately to add precise details. I'll show you how to do it in a few moments. Here change the depth of the river, width, And with this velocity you can change how fast the river is flowing. You can see if I select individual spline points and change my velocity that my river speed will be different depending on which spline point is selected. This is a great tool for creating different river speeds. For example the river is fast at the beginning but it slows down when going into the sea. Our water system will be empty without floating objects. To create one just right click in the content folder. Select blueprint class and make sure its type is an actor. Name it and double click to open it. First we need an object that will float on the water. To add it go add and select static mesh. On the right side change the static mesh to be a cube. And hit compile. To be able to simulate floating our cube must be a physics object. So enable it and enable mass, we can leave it at 100 kilograms. Now go add and type buoyancy. This component will add floating properties to our cube. Ok, compile it And if I hit play you can see that our cube just fell down through the water. To fix that go back to the blueprint and over here drag static mesh to be the default scene root. The last important thing is to go to buoyancy data on the right. Expand it, click this plus button next to pontoons. This will add pontoons to the cube. A pontoon is a part of a boat that helps it float on the water. 
It's like a big metal or rubber balloon that is filled with air. Some boats have two or three pontoons under them and they are called pontoon boats. In our case, we can't see the pontoon. But as you can see on the location, it's in the center of the cube because the location is 0, 0, 0. You can change the pontoon size and location with options here like socket and radius. If I hit play, you can see that our cube floats perfectly. And this is how you easily and quickly create your custom water system, including islands, oceans, rivers and floating objects. I hope you learned something new and useful from this video. If you like this tutorial, feel free to check out my other tutorials about Unreal Engine 5 in the playlist in the description. Thanks for watching and bye bye.